osteochondroma it is a most common benign bone tumor it is not a true neoplasm since its growth stops with cessation of growth at the epiphyseal plate it is a result of an aberration of the growth plate where a few cells from the plate grow centrifugally as a separate lump of bone so this is a developmental malformation of growth plate and the stalk can be pedunculated or sessile and grows away from the join line so if there is a stalk the stalk and the part of the head of the tumor are made up of mature bone but the tip is made up of cartilage hence it is called osteochondroma it is also called exostosis and uh, here the architecture matches the normal bone so it stops growing after the skeletal maturity and the most common site is uh, the like near the knee joint that is a distal femur and if there is a cartilage gap the size would be mostly less than 2 cm now coming to the clinical features it is mostly asymptomatic and this tumor grows with the skeletal maturity like grows with the skeleton and after attaining the skeletal maturity it stops growing so if there is pain the causes can be many so one of the causes is bursitis that is a inflammation of the bursa which is situated near the joint it is a most common cause of pain associated with osteochondroma other causes include nerve compression fracture of the osteochondroma malignant transformation into chondrosarcoma so if there is malignant transformation then these are the signs the cap that is cartilage cap will be more than 2 cm in length there can be heavy calcification and there can be persistence of growth after the skeletal maturity how can you treat osteochondroma so like you have to reassure the parents that it is a benign condition and like only only after the skeletal maturity is attained we will go for the surgery and the surgery is extra extra periosteal excision that is uh, we will be removing the periosteum over the exostosis like uh, because if we leave it it can leave a um, few cartilage cells behind and that will grow again and cause recurrence of the swelling it is preferable to delay this excision till skeletal maturity 